Hey guys and welcome back. Today I want to talk about something that many of you may have heard about before and that are beneficial bacteria. Well, maybe you have heard about them in, from workers in a fish store, other hobbyists or um, maybe YouTubers even. And today I want to focus on what are they actually. And to explain that I want to explain to you guys and biological process and don't get scared at that point this is pretty easy to understand and it may help you guys to have a better understanding how your tank works and will properly function properly function okay so we start off with the nitrogen cycle um, it roughly looks like this and yeah what you see here is pretty easy to understand you have atmospheric nitrogen, it's a gas. And then there are these um, nitrogen fixing bacteria that are turning the um, N2, the gas form of nitrogen, into ammonium, NH4+. And then there are this nitrifying bacteria which are turning the ammonium into nitrite. And nitrite is a very bad thing in your tank for example because it's toxic to fish so you don't want to have that stuff um, that's because if there's nitrogen in the water your fish will suffocate actually and you can't really prevent that if it's there so you want to remove it and it's getting removed automatically basically by other nitrifying bacteria as well so some more bacteria there and they turn it into nitrite. Nitrate, sorry. Nitrate is, isn't really a bad thing. Um, in low amounts, it's not even toxic uh, and it helps plants grow, they need it. So that's a pretty good thing, right? And after it's turned into nitrate, this nitrate gets turned into um, atmospheric nitrogen again by denitrifying bacteria. So what you're seeing here are many types of bacteria and yeah, in fact, those are the beneficial bacteria everyone is talking about. That's pretty easy, right? But there is a little difference in between the nitrogen cycle and what you have in your tank at home. So the nitrogen cycle occurs everywhere on the planet. In soil of a forest maybe, in the ocean, in rivers and lakes, and also in your garden and even in your tank. But in your tank it more looks like something like this. So in your tank you have nothing really to do with um, the atmospheric nitrogen. What you have is fish waste um, or maybe dying leaves of plants or leftovers of food and this breaks down and will be turned into um, ammonium again by some uh, decomposers in the aquarium these are mostly also bacteria but different types of bacteria then again you have the same things as the nitrogen cycle usually has you have your nitrite and nitrate and the nitrate gets assimilated in plants they take it because as I mentioned they need to grow and these plants are eventually turned into fish food or the fish even directly consume them um, and that is getting eaten by the fish and producing fish waste again so you again have this cycle right there it's pretty easy to understand and um, I think it's important to know what these bacteria are doing so if you want to have your tank properly function you want these bacteria and you can get them by just letting sit your empty tank for a few weeks because these bacteria actually are everywhere in the water on things like your hardscape and the plants of course as well but you need enough of them so they can break down all of this feisty nitrite so your fish will stay healthy and also there are some products 
of some companies that are selling these bacteria, this, uh, these starter kits, you maybe know them, um, and these function pretty well. Uh, you can use them, of course, because you're adding directly more bacteria so they can settle and um, um, acclimate faster, um, which is a pretty good thing. You're going, never going wrong with that. And you can basically can't overdose those, which is pretty good too. Well, and that sums up the whole thing. Um, what I want to mention here, um, this is uh, to, this will be a new um, format of this channel. I want to do some basic stuff to explain to you guys as easily as I can, because I think it's also it's always very important to know um, properly about the hobby and uh, learn maybe just a little bit more so you have a better feeling um, for what you're doing. And also these charts, I created them with a free software, BioRender, I will link it in the description. Um, uh, but there's also the watermark, so you maybe actually noticed it before. And that's it for today. Hopefully you liked it and you learned something. If you did, or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and also leave a like and subscribe if you want to. We see us on the next video. Stay tuned.